In this tutorial, we will review the steps we've applied in our data prep project and publish the answer set or output file to the data library where it can be shared, reused in other projects, and exported out of Paxata to a data source destination. In this scenario, we will export the answer set as a local download. Before we publish our answer set, let's review our data prep work thus far. Expand the Steps panel by clicking on the Steps button in the Tools bar. Here we see each of the steps that we've applied in order, from bottom to top, with the most recent step applied at the top. The Steps panel allows us to understand the data as it changes every step of the way. For example, if we want to see how our clean and complete output is generated, we could simply click through the steps and see how each step changes the data set in the grid in real time. We can also see how the data changes by using the Mute Step feature. We can see which steps have filters involved and annotate each step with relevant business context. For example, we might go back and annotate the steps that include particular business logic or reasoning that may not be obvious just by looking at the project step. In this example, we recall that we removed all of the blank values from the age column. So let's annotate that here and provide a reason why. We can view each of our annotations by clicking on the Open Step Annotations button at the bottom. And down here, we also see at each step how many columns are involved, how many rows, what the step number is, and who applied or modified that particular step, and when. The Steps panel provides us a great view into our data lineage as the data changes and gives us an audit trail or a history of our steps that we can share with team members or auditors. Now that we've reviewed our steps, let's go ahead and publish this output for the marketing team. Let's give it a helpful name. I'm going to call this Clean Contacts. I'm going to leave the default description, which gives us some insight as to how this particular answer set was generated, and by selecting Publish, we generate this particular view of the data as an answer set in the data library. We can click on this shortcut button to view the answer set in the data library. Notice that a new data set now shows up in our library, and this represents our answer set. And here we have the ability to share this data set by granting specific permissions to entire groups or individual users. We also have options to view any projects using this answer set, as well as a full data profile of this answer set. We can go back and we can add tags to our answer set, and we can export this file to any configured data source or download it locally. We have various file format options and other export settings we can modify here. In this case, I'm going to download it locally and leave the default format of delimited CSV. After clicking on Export, this data set and its metadata appears in the export log for data lineage purposes. As with any imported data set, answer sets can be exported to multiple destinations, shared, updated, and versioned, profiled, and even traced back to the source project. The aforementioned capabilities will be highlighted in a separate tutorial video. In the next tutorial, we will edit and add project steps, perform a lookup to combine our contacts data with third-party information, incorporate new information, and append a new data set as a result of a new business request from the marketing team.